Metering. T-Rex 3 includes a new high quality, high precision, complete metering section. This includes a precision three scale peak meter, a real proceed loudness meter, phase scope and phase correlation, a spectrum analyzer with peak, RMS and averaging indications, and an RMS meter. Peak meter. This is a precision, sample accurate peak meter that shows the instantaneous audio peak level with peak hold and over indication. Numerical values for peak hold values are shown at the right of the bar graph. The peak meter can work on three scales, selectable by clicking on the settings button and selecting the peak meter section. Minus 90 through 0 dB scale is very wide and is good for general purpose peak level representation. Minus 50 through plus 5 dB scale has reduced range on low levels and can be useful to monitor higher than 0 dB levels. Minus 60 through 0 dB scale has a zoom at the high portion of the scale so that the upper 8 dB spans over the last half of the scale. This is very useful to keep the top of the available headroom under control. The two red over indicators will light up only when more than three consecutive 0 dB full scale samples are present in the audio. You should avoid these indicators lighting up during the entire duration of the audio file you're processing. You can ensure this by using the brick wall peak limiter and lowering the ceiling value to minus 0.1 or minus 0.2 dB or by enabling the DA distortion protection in the preferences. Perceived loudness. The perceived loudness meter is a very valuable tool not commonly found in software applications. Its main purpose is to give reliable information about the effective sense of loudness a song or audio in general delivers to the listener. It works by combining accurate averaging and frequency weighting on the program and can be trusted to deliver accurate information on how loud the song will appear. Note, both left and right channels are combined into the same display. The loudness suggested area shows loudness suggestion and can be selected by genre in the settings menu. This is the area where most commercial productions peak during their loudest passages. The green area indicates where most loud passages should normally peak, while the red area indicates where most loud passages peak in extreme conditions or on very loud masters. RMS This is a standard precision RMS meter that will give important information about the power of the audio signal. Typical loud masters peak on the RMS meter at minus 9 or even minus 8 dB, but this does not always mean high loudness because the RMS meter is flat in frequency response, therefore can be driven very high by songs where there is a very strong low frequency content. Using the perceived loudness meter together with RMS will give you the best picture. Phase The phase scope included in T-Rax 3 behaves very closely to those you usually find on high-end metering devices or on consoles. The fact that it reacts 40 to 50 times faster than conventional plug-in phase scopes gives way more useful information. Left-right channel samples are shown on an XY scope so that signals present on a channel are only displayed as 45 degrees tilted lines, a mono signal is displayed as a vertical straight line, and a completely out-of-phase signal as a horizontal line. When the stereo master is pushed very high, you'll notice a transformation of the displayed phase to a square with sharp edges. Analyzing your favorite albums and references against this characteristic will help you understand how much this can be pushed. Correlation The phase correlator is a very simple meter that shows phase correlation between the two left and right channels on a scale from minus 1 to 1. A mono signal will show plus 1, a completely out of phase signal will show minus 1. In normal conditions, music will continuously move between plus 1 and 0. Keep in mind that passages that stay between 0 and minus 1 will be perceived significantly lower when played in mono. Spectrum Analyzer This is a 1 6th octave FFT spectrum analyzer that can be configured to give various kinds of information. When set to react fast or relatively fast, peak or RMS, it is very useful to identify portions of the spectrum that need retouching with the equalizers. And when set to react slowly, average mode, it is very useful to keep the overall balance of the audio you're working on under control. Click Settings, Analyzer to have access to the Spectrum Analyzer settings.